Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and Now 2, and on today's episode, we'll be taking a look at how to change your browsing defaults in Windows 11. It's not as simple as it used to be. Keep watching to find out why. Okay, so in Windows 10, it was actually relatively straightforward to change your default browser and have all your web things open up in either Chrome, Mozilla, whatever you wanted to do. Obviously, you had to fight Edge a little bit, but certainly for Windows 11, things have gotten considerably worse. So today we'll be showing you how to change your default settings in Windows 11, so you can use Chrome to open up things like web pages and other things which use the HTML type settings, or basically open in a browser. So let's head over to the computer and I'll show you how. So this is our Windows 10 desktop, and as you can see, we've got Edge, which is currently installed as our default browser, as you can see, is getting on and doing all its things, so it's going to be signing you in. This is what most of you will probably see on the first time you use it. So this is the default window, this is what you're likely to see, and yeah, you probably don't want to see it. So really, we want to change our default settings. So you'll need to go ahead and install Chrome, or your browser of choice. As you can see, we've already got Chrome installed here. So what we should do is change our defaults. Now, there's a couple of ways you can do this. You can go into it from Google Chrome, so the first time you open it, you'll probably be get asked to set as default, as we can see here. So if you click on set as default, it will go into the default app section. So as it stands, you go in here and it's a little bit confusing because you're not entirely sure what it is you're actually trying to change. So on Windows 10, you'd have an option for internet or web browsing, and you'd have the choice of your default browser and another. Whereas now on Windows 11, they kind of split things up a lot more. If you, for some reason, don't have that set default thing, you can just click on the start flag and type in defaults. And you get default apps coming up and you can click on default apps and it'll take you into the same place. But essentially it is in the settings cog, which you can go through from here. So settings and then into default apps, etc. Anyway, apps on the side, nice and easy to find. So just look for default apps or type it in. So what we want to do now is to change our internet behavior. So what we want to do is go down to the app that we actually want to use, in which case it's going to be Google Chrome for our instance. And then we can go in and change all the settings. So currently these are all the file types which are actually associated with web browsing and Microsoft Edge. So there's an absolute ton of them. And sadly, you have to basically change them all manually, which is a real shame. So the first one is HTM, which is your normal web pages, as is the bottom one. So all you do is click on there and you'll get the nagging. Do you want to uh, switch? Uh, yes, we do anyway. So then you get the option to choose other browsers or whatever other options. So we'll choose Google Chrome, click OK, and it just changes one. So we've got all these other file types here, which we need to change. So literally just go into each one. And sadly, you have to do the same thing over and over again. That is until somebody actually creates some kind of uh, file or some means of doing this in a slightly more elegant way. But yeah, literally all you need to do is go through, choose your file types. If you're not too sure, you can just click on it and change it regardless. Some things you may find work better in Edge than work in Chrome, uh, possibly FTP transfers, for example. But yeah, if you want to change it to Chrome as being your default, essentially just go down through and change them all. The mail one isn't actually in here too, so if you click on a, a link, you can actually change it to something else, so maybe Outlook. That potentially might work for you better if you've got Outlook installed, or if not, you can leave it as mail, or again, you can open in Chrome or Edge if you're using webmail. But yeah, essentially that is it. You can scroll down through, see if there's any more things which you actually have associated at the moment. But realistically, anything which says Edge, if you just switch that over to Google Chrome, you should be good to go. And if we close that now, Close this down and we'll open up Google Chrome. And yeah, we won't get that nagware at the moment saying set as default because it's already been set. Now, obviously, if you want to set things back, it is a little bit easier to do. You, you can just go back into Microsoft Edge and yeah, basically you can choose that. Use Microsoft recommended browser settings, click apply, click close and that will take everything back to the default so if we go back into defaults again which because we've used it recently we've got it here now so we go to default apps and if we go now into Microsoft Edge we'll see that pretty much most of it has actually been transferred for actual web browsing other things like PDF and HTML 
have been left in their other settings which we've changed already so again if you want to change those you can do but yeah this is uh, not the most elegant solution it is I guess giving you more flexibility because you can choose individual apps for individual web components but yeah it is a little bit of a mess so there you go not the most elegant solution but certainly if you are getting a little bit annoyed with edge opening in certain instances when you don't want it to and you want opening chrome or again another web browser of your choice then this is how to set it if the video has been useful to you smash the like button and if you want to see more content like this hit the subscribe button and the chime icon i'll be notified of future video releases Please let me know what you think about this video in the comment section. Do you think that Microsoft are uh, taking the mickey a little bit with this one? Or are you hoping that in an update it will be reverted back to its previous Windows 10 iteration where it was literally click this and it changes a lot? Let us know what you think in the comments below. But in the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you guys in the very next browser. Thanks for watching.